welcome back to the channel. Well, that's why I'm not riding my bike today. You see how icy it is? It's minus four or five last night. It was really cold. And uh, it's a pity because you can see my bike's looking very shiny. Now, what I did this morning was I treated the wheels, or the spokes anyway, with this XCP. I'd already done it with Lano Guard, but they were a bit, were a bit white. So I just ran them with a the wire brush, you know, we hand wire brush. And I've done all the fasteners and stuff, uh, bits and bobs. So I plan to go out, but it's just, it's not worth that, the risk. So what have I been buying? Well, this, after last weekend's Jeep film that you'll have seen Today, Friday, Friday the 1st of December. Train. I can't see a thing out of these when it's, uh, hold on, put you upside down. There you go. I can't see a thing out of these when it's, um, it's low sun in the winter. It's actually terrifying. I thought, I don't need to buy a new glass. I do need to buy a new glass. Um, so, £75 from Joe's Waterpool, which is an American and UK shop. Um, I usually buy everything from Dallas Autos, admittedly. But, um, they didn't have these in stock. I like Joe's Motor Pool to buy from, it's a good shop. So, what we have, it's a bit obvious, two bits of glass. <laughs> there you go. Tinted and tempered. So they're going to go on, but I need to take all the screen out. Quite a simple job, actually. Uh, to take that out. I'll wait until I get Farmer Chris to come and give me a hand. Or as a little trip or something. Now, what's actually harder to do than that is to fit that, apparently. So this is your screen. So it goes round inside, which stops or helps you from uh, getting the rain going in so I'll have that to fit as well so that's that so um it's a bit dark in here maybe a bit better so uh, yeah a bit disappointed with the weather hoping to get away out for a bit of play um but it's just too dark too dark too cold <laughs> Um, what else was I going to say today? Not much. Keep my receipts. Not that there's only anything else those will fit. There's only one Jeep. So I'll be contemplating painting out all the US markings on this Jeep. See here. Taking this out, taking that out. Maybe taking the number out. But it is, of course, the actual man number. G says just leave it. Chris says get it painted. Why am I going to take these off? Why am I thinking? Because it's not. Oh, just looking at your lens here. It's a bit better. It's not the Normandy 44 Jeep. This was made after the 44. This is the French military M201. So it's a Cold War Jeep, it's not a World War II Jeep even though it's identical, because it's a Willis MB. So if I'm gonna put the original French M201 plate back on the glove box, paint up plain green, and if I'm gonna put a number on here, it should be the chassis number. And I'll get it, I could get French style graphics instead of American style. And then that, you're not being known, it's not a, it's not fake then, it's genuine which is genuine, you know what I mean? There's some real 
folk out there go, oh, no, no, that's not a 90. Anyway, if it's just plain green, it could be a Cold War Jeep, it could be a Cold War II. That's what I love about the M201, is it's anything you want it to be. And I'll take it out today or tomorrow if I wanted to. I'm not caring about the road salt. This thing's all vinyl guarded. Another train for you. Norfolk Thunderbolt. I'm going to get you some more trains. Uh, yeah, just a bit awful in the shed. Suppose you want to see something today as well. Uh, right. Here's something pretty cool. Got a film coming up on uh, jerry cans actually. Yeah. So, <clears throat> US Army can. You've seen these and Bands of Brother and stuff. You've got your. There we go. So, this one is dated 1945. All my US Army stuff stated 45. Got a nest in there as well. Um, anyway, so Britain, eh? British pit, um, water can, canister, water bottle, steel, rust, a cork, sharp edges. So these guys are wearing these and they're rolling about, they're rolling on that, right? Germans. It's missing the, the uh, cap. Aluminium. Round. Baker light screw lid. The German stuff is it's amazing actually. Obviously Americans have folds suit. Similar similar to that, but even better. Rounded. So it's just quite interesting when you see the different nationalities, how they approach different things. I mean that's straight out for full water, isn't it? Um, but anyway, I'm waffling. I'm going to two minds be able to go with my drone and maybe do some filming at the harbour. I think I'll do that. Right. As always, thanks for watching. See you all again soon. Bye for now and keep warm.